friends. Tonight, I wanna take you guys on a Christmas decoration exploration all around Walt Disney World to a lot of different resorts you didn't know were very festive for the holidays. I mean, we already know Fort Wilderness and Wilderness Lodge, tons of awesome Christmas stuff. The Grand Floridian with the gingerbread house, but there are a lot of resorts here and they all have a little Christmas inside them. So I wanted to start off here at Port Orleans and go to some other ones like Grand Destino and the French Quarter and just show you what they have to offer when it comes to Christmas. So let's go do this. Our first stop of the night is gonna be Port Orleans right here. And look at all those pretty lights and garland. And that's just the Port de We haven't even gotten into the lobby yet. Port de very fancy ward. Look at all of that. I like it a lot. And here it is. Look at that tree. This is Port Orleans Riverside. It is such a nice tree. I like how they have the trunks actually lining up the bottom of the tree. Plus all the nifty garland that they got going all the way around. Port Orleans does have a decent sized Christmas tree, but not all the resorts that we go to tonight are gonna have a big Christmas tree. Some of them have just little tiny displays, but they're beautiful. But I do appreciate a big tree. I think a lot of people can say the same. Other than the trees and the garlands and the wreaths actually in the river roost, one thing I want to point out here is Fulton's gift shop because they really do have a nice Christmas themed gift shop. Look at all up here. And of course, all the Christmas merchandise. It's just very festive, very green. Uh, I would consider this like a classic Christmas. You can definitely say classic Christmas by the Santa Claus. Look at that. Even the window decorations is very nice. I like that a lot. Oh, look at, got a Mickey stocking over there in the corner next to the ladder. Look at all this, there's a lot going on in this window. Same with this window over here. Look at that Believe Santa Claus can right there. That's what I mean by classic. It's got a classic look to it. Another area of Port Orleans Riverside that's decked out very nicely is the check-in area. But I do believe that during the month of December, they should have classic Christmas Disney movies playing in all of the check-in areas. I did decide to step outside. They don't have a lot of Christmas decorations outside, but they do have horse-drawn carriage rides. And for some reason, that kind of just sits with me as Christmassy, even though it's year-round. Only because I think of like Central Park, New York, Christmas, and horse carriage rides. I don't know. Christmas and New York City go together very well for me. Look at him. Like I said, not Christmas-like, but I feel like it fits the season. You know something that would be really cool about the horse-drawn carriage rides is if they actually had Christmas trees or Christmas lights on the pathway that takes you over to French Quarter. I think that would be a cool little holiday layover. This is here year-round, it's $55. I've done it before, I really like it. It takes you right over to French Quarter and back. It's a good time. Oh, and speaking of French Quarter, that's our next resort. We're gonna hop right on over there because that place is lit up with lights. I like it a lot. And we made it over to French Quarter. And you know how I said Port Orleans is kind of like a classic Christmas? Well, I feel like French Quarter is a bright Christmas. You can literally see the blue, red, and green lights shining out from the parking lot. There are so many lights in such a small space in here. I love it, I really do. You guys see what I'm talking about? Look at that, you can see them shining out from here. You got all these pretty well-lit wreaths hanging above the entranceway. I like it so much. And wow, look at this. Holy moly. <laughs> we have one tree, two tree, tree tree, four tree. Huh. Seriously though, didn't I say a very bright Christmas? I love it. And you know what? I think it makes it extra bright in here because there's so much glass and reflection of the lights. It's just so pretty. It's hard to fit into one frame, but I'm going to try. Yeah, I can't fit all of the Christmas trees in one frame. Uh, so I'm going to have to pan around the room like this just so you can get a good idea of everything that's in here. It is so pretty. 
and the decorations on the trees are so festive to French Quarter, like a masquerade mask, all of these awesome New Orleans Mardi Gras beads right here. That is really nifty. The registration area is just well deck out as the lobby itself. Look at those beautiful strains of garland. I like it so much. I don't know how the camera is picking up the lights on these a little bit. It might, it has to be bright. I just hope it's not blurry. And check out the festive window displays at the Jackson Square. Wow. <laughs> that is really detailed. Look at that dress. Huh. Really cool, huh? And I like how the lights on the wreaths over on this side actually turn a little bit more greener than actual blue. And here's like a good example of it. Like you go from a nice well-lit green wreath to a very blue Christmas. I'll have a blue Christmas without you. <laughs> That's the reflection I was talking about. Look at that. It's coming right off the tree here, but I think it amplifies the lights by 100%. Another really nifty thing about French Quarter is they have a winter wonderland snowflake scavenger hunt where you actually have to go around the resort finding different snowflakes with Disney characters in them, and they give you little, little clues where they're at. We're not gonna do this because we have to get to the other resorts, but this is a very fun activity, and it's very fun. But I can't not leave and not at least find one of the snowflakes. So they gave me a little hint and they told me to look up and walk around the store. I'm not seeing much but fans, lights, and ceilings. I gotta say, I am having a hard time trying to find this snowflake. But I will give you the clue. The clue is this chubby little chubby all stuffed with fluff is dancing around where you can find all your souvenirs far more than enough and I cannot find it. And the cast members, they are in it. They won't give you an exact location. They'll just give you little clues, like look up at the ceiling. I've still heard at that ceiling for a while. I don't know. If you guys find it, please let me know. I stepped outside for a little bit because I wanted to show you the horse that we are looking at over at Port Orleans is actually taking someone for a stroll around the French Quarter. How cool is that? also wanted to show you some of the Christmas lights outside. They don't have much, but they have a little bit, mainly on like the second floor of the whole entire check-in area, which is kind of cool how they have this set up like this because it's all just one level inside the building. But from the outside, it looks like it's like, you know, apartments above a shop. And I like that a lot. I don't know if you can hear it too well, but they're actually playing jingle bells, but kind of like in a jazz fashion. If I can find a speaker. Not gonna lie, that's the first time I noticed that they actually played like jazzy New Orleans Christmas music here. That's pretty awesome. So let's take one last look at the decorations over here at French Quarter before we head to our next resort. And wow, they got a lot to compete with. But now we are gonna head on over to the Grand Destino at Coronado. I'm very excited because this is their first year actually being open for the holiday season. And I bet they pulled off some really cool Christmas stuff in there. They have a lot of space for it. So let's get there. And there she is. The Grand Destino Tower at Coronado Springs. Isn't she a beaut? And like I said before, this is the first year of it being open and during the holidays. So I hope they have some amazing things in there. They should. And actually, as we're walking in, I can hear Christmas music blasting out of the speakers in the grass. How cool is that? As we're walking up, you can see the wreaths outside, but on the inside, Things are definitely festive. Look at that. They changed the colors to green and red. How awesome. That is so cool. 
they changed all the colors to green and red. And I actually asked, and they said this is just for Christmas, but they can change the colors to these to whatever they want. Wow. All the pillars are either red or green, and then they have little tiny Christmas trees actually on the other side of the pillars, but there's something huge behind that tree. Right there. Oh, look at the size of that tree. Coronado and the Grand Destino just entered the game for big Christmas trees at Disney World. Wow. That is really impressive. Very impressive. We gotta go down here and get a closer look at it though. Holy moly. That is a big tree. Goes all the way up. And look at the reflection behind it. Oh, I love reflections. Reflections of Christmas lights. So I know we've established Port Orleans Riverside as a classic Christmas and French Quarter as a bright Christmas, but I would definitely classify the Grand Destino Tower as an artsy Christmas. It's very like artsy. That tree though is so big and nice. I like it a lot. Notice though, there's nothing at the base of it. It's literally just straight down to the ground. It's very hard to get this whole tree in one picture, but I like the way that this is set up like this. It's very pretty. One thing I wanna do is actually go outside and see the Christmas tree from the outside and see the lights, because I think that might be very cool. Oh yeah, that is pretty to look in, isn't it? Wow, I like how you can see the green and red lights from the top level too. And I think once they figured out the lights actually on the tower itself, that would make a very Christmassy thing. Can you imagine? Wow, I heard that it was supposed to change lights. I know that I've seen it different colors, but it would be nice to see that a little, you know, blue or green or red. That would definitely be something very nice. Now I think it's time that we actually head on over to our last resort and something tells me it's going to be an island Christmas. And I'm talking about Caribbean Beach Resort. Look at this place. Look at the Porta Corche, so decked out and they're blasting like Caribbean Christmas music. Wow. Wow, so pretty, isn't it? I really like the garland. It's very festive, very island theming. Wow, take a look at the lobby. Oh, it's very nice. Look at these trees and the birds up top. Wow, I like those a lot. Honestly, I'm so surprised and so in detail at Disney by getting all these different types of Christmas spirit that they have at all the different resorts. Look, this Christmas tree has a pineapple. And they don't have room in here for very large trees, but they have two smaller trees that are very well decorated and lit. And they're kind of in the common sitting area. And once again, we're getting a little reflections of Christmas lights, but look at that. That is a pretty Christmas tree, isn't it? They have another one on the other side we're gonna take a close look at also. Ooh, that's a pretty bulb. Yep, right here's the other one. They have them on both sides of the doorway, which makes it really festive, I like that. They have birds at the top of the tree along with pineapples and a lot of other cool nifty ornaments. I like it. I really do. It's, a, it's, it's cute. These flowers on here are really nice as well. Inside the center town market, they have a little garland right up here, but also I see some more lights on garland over there, and I like that. And they got little fruit trees over here. And how quaint is this tree because it's right next to the lemons and the mayonnaise.
Now this one right over here by the center town market is a full scale fruit tree with the pineapples, the lemons, the limes, the oranges, so many nifty things. Look at that. Or oh, won't they feel squishy? Oh, nope, not squishy, they're hard. So I think that's gonna do it for me. They don't have much to show here, just import Royale only. Uh, they do have some lights on the signs outside, but not very much. I still like it a lot here. I really like the festive fruit island Christmas. So we have Port Orleans, which was a classic Christmas. French Quarter, very bright Christmas decorations. Then we had the Grand Destino, which was a little artsy. And then of course here, which was uh, an island Christmas. Which one was your favorite? I like them all, but I mean, if you had to pick one, which one would it be? So, love the life you live. We'll see you next time. Bye.